hold on people I've woken up this morning thoughts and thoughts and thoughts on my mind it's almost 20 past 8 in the morning I've just captured some some footage of um, a swastika and some KKK graffiti um, You know, I'm not saying everyone around me is, is like that or is into that sort of thing. But um, I'm just saying I'm putting this up there to verify and to prove why I was thinking the way I was thinking in my earlier videos and why I was hating the way I was hating. You know, I've been isolated for so long by myself with all these people attacking me for years. So I'm not going to apologize for the mistakes that I made which I already tried doing online to some to certain people. And you know what? Fuck it. I don't need to apologize. Anyways, back to this um, Nazi swastika. Swastika is just a very ancient symbol. And it just depends on which angle it's used at. You know, it, it, it changes its meaning. So you see Hitler used the swastika because he found it part of ancient Asian cultures and in India. Very old um, archaeological sites have the swastika on them. They found them dating back thousands of years. And, you know, the term Aryan doesn't mean blonde-haired, blue-eyed. It doesn't mean a blonde-haired, blue-eyed race. That's not what it means. Aries. Ram. Do you get me? It means nobility. And I'm thinking that, you know, the the class of people that would use this symbol were enlightened or were practicing these teachings of enlightenment and trying to get there. So it's got nothing to do with blonde hair, blue eyed and, you know, racial purity or ethnic purity or whatever the hell, I mean... That these these crazy eugenic eugenicists come up with that not make sense and I've also been um in my previous videos been saying how I've been drugged and, and what not well I've come to realize after doing some heavy heavy research that those directed energy weapons also you know they hit your net your central nervous system they hit your core in your brain and they slowly burn your brain from the inside pretty much cooking your brain and if people want to see um the state that dmx is in that rapper it's just fucking sad all these good people fighting the establishment and you know they just end up wasted in the eyes of all these people and people don't even um know the truth you know if, if you see this video that i've seen of of dmx even the people that were circling him we're all looking at each other and like oh well like sort of giving each other that eye look like he's fried and laughing just like just to go along with him you know patronizing him treating him like a kid you could tell all those people were around him just like fucking parasites just sucking money off him and fame because he's got such a, a, a worldwide known name seen the same thing happen with tupac see all these people they just get carried away with themselves they're they're so dead set on fighting and they think that they're around their own people and that they're safe. That's fucking bullshit. You couldn't be more unsafe around your own people than around the enemy. Because they are the enemy. They've been bought off. They've been paid. They've flipped sides. They've turned their back on the order. They're fucking scum. That's what they are. They're fucking scum. <laughs> All right, because I'm, I'm Arab, you know, I've got Arab heritage. I'm very hot tempered and I'm struggling real hard. To put to enact John Lennon's concept and theory and Gandhi's theory of peace, peaceful non compliance. The only thing that the establishment is not equipped to battle is peace, a peaceful revolution. They don't know how to battle people that are fighting with peace. But um I'm in pain badly, severely in my back, my lower back, my kidneys, um my dog is she's sick as shit. And I'm trying to prolong her life as much as I can. You know, she's still eating. She's still going to the toilet, walking. So 
it's not the end yet. But anyway, just um, I'm gonna connect a little video to this video, and it's gonna show you how I've seen the swastika and whatnot. People shouldn't think that this is how Australia is. All all of Australia is like this. It's not like that. You know, throughout Australia, you just get good people. You get bad people. It's just the same everywhere you go in the world. That's a shame that I've been... Yeah, that I'm just... I've seen this, I should say. It's a shame that... I thought these people were good people and I've... Enjoyed their company. Uh, anyways. Such is life.